All right, in today's video, we are going to be taking a driving tour of the airport. That's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. So you're gonna wanna stick around. Let's get after it right now. So, you want to come to Missoula, take a scouting trip because you and your family, you guys are ready to move and you want to, hold on a second. You want to take a scouting trip first so that you can look at some houses and some different neighborhoods in Missoula County or Raleigh County or some of the other counties around. And you want to decide what is the best place for you and your family so first, you're going to reach out to me because I'm going to guide you through that process. Then we're going to help you schedule a time for you to come out here so that I can set up a bunch of home tours for you and we can meet and go look at these homes in these different neighborhoods. And then we can decide which one is the best one for you and your family, right? And I can walk you through the process and um, make this as easy as possible because I know what it's like to move across the country with two small children. My son was six and a half, six and a half, not six and a half. My son was six months old when we moved across the country. I do not suggest doing that, by the way, moving with a baby don't do it. It's torture for literally everybody. Anyways, besides the point. So once you we get those scouting trip dates, then you come out, you meet me, and, and, and we take you around and I show you all the good spots so that you can make the best decision possible when you go back and that way you're ready for your move. But the first step is to hop on an airplane and come on over. So Let's take a driving tour around the airport and talk about all things airport. I also want to mention that the Missoula Airport does not fly direct to too many destinations. There are only about 14 on the list right now, but it does fly to some major hubs like Denver, Salt Lake City, and Minneapolis. And from those airports, then you can pretty much fly anywhere. But just know that Missoula, it's because it's such a small airport, it's hard to get a direct flight. Um, the options are pretty limited.
Now, I absolutely love the Missoula Airport. One, because it's brand spanking new. It is beautiful. It even like smells clean. It is awesome. Now, I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. Don't mind that. And the, if you have ever flown out of Reagan National Airport, which is in D.C., well, it's right outside D.C., but they call it DCA. Um, it's not in DC. And Dulles Airport. Lord help me now. Because those airports are busy, busy, busy as can be. Complicated as. as oh, also um, BWI, Baltimore, Washington. BWI International Airport. Something like that. It's up in Baltimore. Ugh. Super hard to navigate pain in the butt. Now the Missoula airport is a piece of cake. Now it's obviously not in such a big city as uh, the three airports that I just mentioned. So it's super small and compact and easy to navigate. You pull up, you go straight into a parking lot. You can leave your car in short-term parking or long-term parking. And it is literally right there. And then you can just walk across the parking lot. You don't have to deal with any buses or uh, trying to get an Uber or a taxi, none of that. But also if somebody drops you off, you can be dropped off right at the front door. It is so nice. And the ticket counter is right there, like literally two steps in the door, you're at the ticket counter. And there's what, 10 ticket counters for the different airlines? And I think the most I've waited was 15 minutes um, to check my bag. The staff, super nice, very clean. The bathrooms, nice. And they're huge, perfect for lots of little kids. And um, baby changing stations are also kept very clean. They do a really good job. Um, and then you go up the escalator through security. Security, I've waited no more than 10 minutes waiting my turn to go through security. Security is super fast. And then you have about five gates and they're all literally right there. Um, bathrooms are kept super clean. Um, they have a water filling station. Awesome, love that. And then they have like a little coffee shop and um, like a little convenience store that you can get some snacks, books, magazines, gum, uh, and then some like little trinkets like the, um, headphones um, and then like those neck pillows yeah you can get those there too and it's all literally right there you can't miss it there's nothing to be confused about because it's all right there and I actually haven't checked it out which is on my to-do list for next time there's a brewery inside the airport now all the gates are like over here that convenience store is like over here, all on the same level. And then the brewer is like back here, all on the same level. So if you wanna chug your beer and then run to the, um, to get in line for your airplane, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, just run fast, you'll be fine. Um, so, and they do have a little like outdoor section. It's still like gated off, so you can't like hop the fence or anything. Um, that's after security. They have like a little outdoor section if you want to drink your beer outside. And of course, the views while you're waiting for your airplane are gorgeous. Okay, so that's if you're leaving. I guess I should have ended with that part, but now, if you're coming into the Missoula airport, you're gonna get dropped up one of those five gates. And then the bathrooms are right there, are tons of stalls too. And then you come down the escalator. They have um, elevators. <laughs> Sorry, words are hard sometimes. Elevators as well, they're right there if you have stroller or uh, wheelchairs or just don't feel like taking the escalator. And um, it drops you off right at baggage claim. There's only one baggage claim. You can't miss it. And um, it's actually so when you check a bag and those ticket counters, they're like over here on the lower level, 
that are like over here and then the baggage claim is over here and there's a huge taxidermy bear to greet you to check your bags so uh something fun for the kids to look at while you're waiting for your bags and there's only one carousel so you all from your flight you all just wait in the same spot um you can't miss it and then once you pick up your bag you are free to go and the door is super close by as well um, and if you're meeting somebody like me or a friend's family or an Uber, uh, they're right outside the door. Uh, your friend's family can come inside to help you with the baggage claim if you so choose. And they can meet you down at the bottom of the escalator as soon as you come out from the, like, the secured section. So that this Missoula airport is wonderful. Like the easiest, best experience I've had at airports, right? Now, of course, I'm going to make this video and then everything is going to change because as you can see in the driving tour video that they are expanding the airport and it looks like it's going to be about double the size and it's looking so good. Um, I'm not exactly sure when it will be done. I'm thinking within the next six months to maybe a year. They've been working on it for a while now and um, it's going to be epic. So I'll need to make a part two of this video because of course then everything will change. Now another thing that I didn't mention uh, earlier that I did want to, if you do rent a car, that is also right there at the airport. They make it so easy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you walk outside after you got your bag, right? You walk right outside and it's on the right hand side, car rental. You can't miss it. It's right there. You walk in there and they'll take really good care of you to rent a car. Now, I highly suggest when you come and do your scouting trip, do rent a car because yes, I will show you this house and this house and this neighborhood and maybe we'll go to this coffee shop and get coffee because I love coffee and hopefully you do too. Grab lunch here. But then you're going to want to do your own research. Now you can't just take everything I say and then just run with it because these are my personal experiences as well and those are going to be very different than your experiences. So you are going to want to pack everybody into the car, into your rental car, and just drive around. Stop at different places. Walk around a little bit. Go to this shop and that shop and just get a feel for it. Try to put yourself in somebody that lives there. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Now, of course, I'll tell you all the local hotspots that you have to hit because there are just so many and so many wonderful things to explore in Missoula and the surrounding areas. So I can definitely give you a guidance on, yeah, this restaurant is delicious and maybe not so much that one, but you're going to want to check it out on your own. And so a rental car is a fabulous way to just drive around. And of course, you get those gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mountain views because Missoula is in a valley. Mountain here, mountain here, valley. Okay. If you're finding value in this video, then go ahead and give that like and subscribe button a click, please, so that I can bring more of Missoula's charm to you. And if you haven't done so already, please leave me a comment down below. Is Missoula Airport, is it as easy as I say it is? Am I lying? Have you had a different experience? What other airports have you been to that have been absolute nightmares? Oh my God, I can go on and on and on about my nightmare experiences at BWI in Baltimore, Reagan, which is outside of DC, and Dulles. D just a oh, JFK too in New York. I mean, those are huge airports too. Like, don't get me wrong, nightmares. But who, whoever also planned those airports, boo on you. Because I think they just expanded it and then they just didn't talk to each other or figure it out. 
Anyways, Missoula Airport, two thumbs up for me. All right, until next time, take care.